What are sundials? How do they work? What impact did they have on ancient and modern science? How many rest in Florence and where? An exhibition at the Museum of the History of Science reveals the secret of the sundials. It's a historical path that shows the location of the sundials, focusing mainly on the large Florentine sundials placed inside the churches. The church promoted their development for organizational reasons. Sundials helped to fix some liturgical appointments, mainly Easter. The exhibition, through models and multimedia panels, follows the history, the motivation, and operations of the first sundial inside the baptistry, as well as the one inside the Duomo, a late 15th century project by Paolo del Pozzo Toscanelli, a friend of Brunelleschi, that was last modified by Leonardo Ximenes in 1700. Or the sundial in Santa Maria Novella by the astronomer Ignazio Danti, which was never finished on account of his leave of Florence after the death of Cosimo I, Danti's commissioner. There is also a reconstruction and explanation of La Specula Sundial, the first astronomic observatory in Florence. Come to the exhibition to rediscover these extraordinary instruments that left their mark on time, as well as the new sundial of Florence in front of the museum. Inauguration June 21st. Placed around the city are panels showing the location of other antique sundials. Take a look. From the Museum of the History of Science, Danielle Rosner, C10.